Valentine's Day. Best or worst moment you've experienced on Valentine's Day? Worst experience ever. I spent like the whole week before, like from the 10th to the 13th with a guy in LA. The night of the 13th, he sent me home. Okay, so 14th, I was home by myself after spending all that time with him. Worst. Now, what would cause you to be sent home? I don't know. We were arguing a lot, I guess. I don't know. We just didn't get along the whole trip. But I'm like, I'm thinking, okay, Valentine's coming up. You know, maybe he got to have something special for me on Valentine's. He sent my ass home. <laughs> Did you try to fight it or you were glad to be leaving? I didn't try to fight it. I was sad. But I went home to my other single friends, so it was <laughs> okay. Now, this person that you were with, was this like you were still getting to getting to know him No, mode, we or? was together for a long time. Oh, wow. Savage. What ended up happening after that? Did you guys call it quits or, or what? No. I seen him the week after. Okay. <laughs> so were you, were you actually just, were you like in a relationship, like girlfriend, boyfriend? No, it was like, you know, a situationship. Like we was together, but not together. Okay. Now, best or worst gift you've received or given on Valentine's Day? See, normally when I'm in a relationship, I don't, like I tell people I don't celebrate Valentine's Day to get out of giving gifts. So if they want to buy me a gift, it'd be like, but I tell them I don't celebrate, so I'm like a nigga, right? <laughs> so <laughs> I never really gave a gift and I never really received a gift. I think last year I got like, after he sent me home, he sent me like a Venus flower, you know, the, the flowers that last a year. But I never really received anything for Valentine's Day besides. Okay, so after he sent you home, he still sent you a gift. Yeah, but I was still sad. So it was like an apologizing gift, not really a Valentine's Day gift. Yeah, it was kind of like, because I know I got to do something, let me just send mm. these. Like, flowers are so like, flowers. How how are those flowers? They really last a year. They're they're real flowers or they're fake they're flowers? real flowers, and they still holding up strong. <laughs> I still have them. Do you know much about them? Like why they last for a year? I think like in the box, there's like a sponge. Like they cut the buds off and they put the sp the buds in the sponge, soaked in water, so you don't have to water them or anything. I don't know. Now, okay, when it comes to Valentine's Day gifts. Uh, we know your policy, right? But just curious on other people watching this and their policy. Let's say somebody's dating someone. Right. How long should one be dating someone before they get them a gift? This really doesn't apply to you because we know right. how you operate, but. Um, I think time doesn't matter. I think it's about feelings. So if you with somebody and y'all two weeks or two years, if two years in, you don't feel like, you know, she deserves something or you don't feel like she's worthy, then you don't have to. But if two weeks, you know, y'all been vibing the whole time, I think you should still make her feel special on that day because girls look forward to that day. Now, I know how you operate. You've given us your policy because you don't want to receive gifts and that sort of thing or whatever. Uh, but uh, has anyone ever tried to break up with you before to avoid giving you a gift? Oh, hell no, no. The worst that's ever happened, I told you, was he sent me home before. I think that kind of was similar to a break breakup, mm. but no, never broken up with. I had a guy that tried to go to jail before Valentine's Day to get out of buying a gift, but he didn't try to break up with me. He tr like he tried to tell his friends to tell me that he was in jail so he wouldn't have to buy me a gift. <laughs> now, I have another follow-up question that I just thought about, about this person that sent you home. Right. When you go back to your single friends that, that weekend, do you try to be petty back and try to show this person what they were missing at all? Or no, like no, you stayed I, off the grid? I came home and I, I knew a photographer that was had availability for that day. And I had like a Valentine's Day shoot, dropped it on the gram that same day. It was just like unbothered. So that was being petty then? Not being petty, just looking like, you know, I'm not phased by it. Now, what about when it comes to candy, like Valentine's Day candy? That's a big thing for some people. Do you like stuff like that? Even if it was in the past with this policy that you have, like did you have a favorite Valentine's Day candy or no? 
I love Hershey's chocolate. Like, I don't care if it's in a heart shape, a rock shape. I, <laughs> I love chocolate. So anything Hershey's. And I also like those um, Starburst jelly beans. Okay. Amazing. We're talking regular Hershey's chocolate? Yes. Plain J. Plain, nothing in it. Now, what about movies? Sometimes movies are a big deal around Valentine's Day. Do you have a favorite Valentine's Day movie of all time? Or if not, maybe your favorite romantic movie of all time? I don't even know if you're into movies. I don't even watch movies. No, you don't. But tell me some Valentine's Day movies. Maybe I could tell you. A big I mean. one for people is like The Notebook. Oh, never watch that. <laughs> You've never seen that? No. Heard about it? Heard of it. I heard it was long. It's a tearjerker. Mm. Girls mm -hmm. usually cry at that. I mean, some guys even cry at that. What? What do you think about that if a guy cries at a movie? He's definitely in tune with his emotions. Um. <laughs> Does that turn you off? Does that turn you on? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that I would have to go through to see. Like, if we in the movies and I just turn to him and he's <laughs> crying, I don't know. Have you ever cried at a movie? Yes, all the time. I'm a sucker. I always cry. What's a movie that you can remember that you probably... I just cried to White Boy Rick. Okay. Did you see it? I personally didn't. Oh, my God. It's about a guy who, he was young. His dad got caught up in some stuff, and instead of his dad going to jail, he turned to informant, and he ended up becoming a drug dealer. And then at the end, they arrested him and didn't even give him, like, anything. They just sent him to jail, like, you was an informant. Just go. I cried. <laughs> now, okay, I know you have this policy, but just somebody watching this, right? Any do's or don'ts for someone on Valentine's Day? Do you have any advice? Do's and don'ts. Yeah. Somebody watching this, they need some help. They need some guidance. Do make sure the lady of your life feel special on that day. Don't make sure your savage feels special on that day. I don't know. Have you ever been that for Valentine's Day before? No. I, I, if I know I'm in a situation like that, I try to just go my way before day comes so I don't feel let down or anything.